start today by reading this sentence. He finally achieved what he aimed for, the award for the best swimmer. Now when you read this sentence, you will realize that it is very difficult to understand the meaning of this sentence. But if we would have written it as, he finally achieved what he aimed for, the award for the best swimmer. In this case, the meaning of the sentence is much clearer. What have we done here? Here, we have used the punctuation mark of a colon. What is a colon? It is the punctuation mark where we put two circles or two dots on top of each other. In this case, the colon is helping us to separate the two ideas in a sentence. What are the two ideas? He finally achieved what he aimed for, the award for the best swimmer. In this sentence, the second idea is emphasizing or elaborating on the first idea. Hence, the colon is helping us to understand this sentence in an easier fashion. So what is a colon? A colon is used to introduce a word or a phrase or an incomplete sentence. Now be careful to remember that there is no space before the colon but we always put a space after the colon. So what is a colon? A colon is a punctuation mark that means that is to say or here's what I mean. And how do we form a colon? We use two circles or two dots on top of each other to form a colon. An explanation is followed after the punctuation mark of a colon. And remember that when we use a colon, we do not put a space before it, but we always put a space after it. There are three countries beginning with Z. Zer, Zambia and Zimbabwe. Now, we see here that the colon has been used to express a list of things. Now, this list is made of proper nouns. It is the name of places which begin with Z. Hence, our list begins with the capital letter. And you can see here that we have not used any space before the colon, but we have used a space after the colon. I want the following items, pens, pencils and a ruler. Now in this example also, the colon has been used to express a list of items. But remember that we have not started the list with a capital letter. Why is it so? Because the first item after the colon is not capitalized unless it is a proper noun or a pronoun I. Now, if we have a sentence as, I want pens, pencils and a ruler, we never use a colon to introduce the list. Why is it so? Remember that a colon is not used before a list if it directly follows a verb. So in this case, we would simply write, I want pens, pencils and a ruler without the colon. Kelly has performed in London, New York, Paris. Now remember that we do not use a colon before a list if it directly follows a preposition. Here it is directly following the preposition in, so it is incorrect. To write this sentence correctly, we would have just written, Kelly has performed in London, New York, Paris without the colon. Similarly, we do not use a colon after phrases like such as or for instance. So in this example, Jin can play many instruments such as the guitar, the piano and the trumpet. We would not write it correctly with the colon. If we would have removed such as and just written Jim can play many instruments, colon, the guitar, the piano and the trumpet, in that case it would have been correct. But if we are using phrases like such as, for instance, then we do not use the colon. 
The winners are as follows. Jim, Barry, Gordon. We use the colon after phrases like as follows in the following to introduce a list. I need a person who can do the following. Cook, take the dog out for a walk and take care of my old mother. In this case, the colon is introducing a list of items. What is the list? Cook, take the dog out for a walk and take care of my old mother. But this list comprises of phrases. So, colon can be used to introduce a list of phrases also. Our leader gave us these rules to live by. Be hardworking, be compassionate, always help others in need. So remember that we can use the colon to introduce a list in complete sentences. The first letter of the first word after a colon is capitalized if the list following the colon is in complete sentences. The MC made an announcement. I need a volunteer on stage. So the colon may be used to introduce a quotation. Remember that the first letter of the first word is capitalized if the quotation following the colon is a complete sentence. Mother, you are late for school. Hurry up. Luke, mom, I am not feeling well. Mother, I think you have come down with the flu. So colon can be used to indicate a dialogue when we write a play or a script. Now that we have learnt the various uses of the colon, let us do this exercise. Rewrite the following by placing the colon in the correct position. The principal announced the students have won the district championships, so tomorrow will be a holiday. Now we know that the colon can be used to introduce quotations, so the correct answer here would be the principal announced colon, the students have won the district championships, so tomorrow will be a holiday. Vanity Fair, a novel without a hero is a literary masterpiece. Now in this sentence, Vanity Fair is the title and a novel without a hero is the subtitle. So we see that a colon can be used between a title and a subtitle. This is taken from Genesis 1 colon 31. What does this mean? That this is taken from Genesis chapter 1 verse 31. So a colon is used between a chapter and a verse. But in this case you will notice that no space has been used before or after the colon. So when a colon has been used in between two numbers, we do not put the space. You all can refer to Encyclopedia Britannica for colon 425. What does this mean? This means you all can refer to Encyclopedia Britannica volume 4 page 425. So a colon can be used between a volume and a page number. The ratio of milk and water in this mixture is 3 is to 2. In this case, the colon has been used to express a ratio and there has been no space used before or after the mark of colon. The class began at 11.30 a.m. sharp. In this case, the colon has been used to indicate time. So, it indicates the hour, the minutes and the seconds. Penguin. Now, an aquatic, flightless bird found almost exclusively in the Antarctic. In this case, we have used the colon to separate a word from its meaning or explanation. So remember 
that a colon is used before a definition or explanation of a particular word. Caution, dead end ahead. So a colon is used after words like caution or wanted or note. She went to the grocery store today. She bought lots of fruits and vegetables. Now in this sentence, there are two ideas. What are the two ideas? She went to the grocery store today. She bought lots of fruits and vegetables. And we have used a semicolon to separate the two ideas. But we could not have used a colon in place of a semicolon in this sentence. So colons and semicolons are usually not used interchangeably. But if you have sentences like this, she got what she aimed for. She really deserved the title. Where there are two independent clauses. She got what she aimed for. She really deserved the title. And the second clause elaborates the first clause. In such cases, we can use a semicolon and a colon interchangeably. Let us do this exercise. Choose the correct sentence. The colon is used to join two clauses which are closely related in thought. The colon is used to join two clauses when the second clause expands on the first. Now we have seen an example of this and we know that the second sentence, the colon is used to join two clauses when the second clause expands on the first is the correct sentence here. So today we have seen the various uses and situations where we use colons. I hope you can incorporate colons in your writing now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English, and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches, and many more, along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.